Now back to what we talked about at the top of the newscast that of course the start of the Christmas light festival at the Montgomery Zoo. It's the 32nd year for the festival and WSFA first alert chief meteorologist Josh Johnson <laughs> was there as the flip was switched as they say right Josh. Hey, yeah, we're having a lot of fun. By the way, the theme for tonight out here is wacky sweaters. And I would say you, Kimberly, understood the assignment, didn't you? Yes, sir. Thank you. You guys are having a lot of fun. You got the whole family out here, I right? Do, I do. I have my whole crew here, my four boys and my husband. What are you most excited to see tonight with all the lights? Um, Everything, really. Uh -huh. I just enjoy it all. It's nice. That they do it. Here. Yes, the boys are cookies really here. To see uh huh. Boys, come on in. Yeah, I'd like to hear from you a little bit. There they are. Yeah, they're pretty excited. You're all. You are on the news. What are you excited to see tonight? They're, they're most excited to say hello to everybody. I think. What about Santa? Are we going to meet Santa tonight? Yes, we. There you go. There you have it. So a lot of enthusiasm, to put it mildly, out here at the uh, City Zoo in Montgomery on the city's north side. This event runs, by the way, each night through December 23rd. Put the wacky sweaters on. Have a lot of fun. Come on out here. You can meet Santa, have cookies, refreshments, ride the train, ride the sky lift, see the animals, see the zoo, see all of it. Uh, $12 admission. It is a wonderful deal. A great opportunity for some family fun here in the city of Montgomery. Mark? Yeah, and if you join the zoo, zoo members get in free. Josh Johnson live at the That's Montgomery exactly Zoo. right. Yeah, and inside the Man Museum this year is the Christmas Tree Trail. Businesses have decorated their own trees, including a WSFA 12 News tree, so be sure to check that out as well.